Hey guys, welcome back, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Jim, and this is a first look at the new update to Luminar Neo. It's update version 1.0.5. The big news is we have unlocked presets, what they're also calling white box presets, which basically means you can go in and create and save and edit presets, which is new and exciting. Let me show you. Here's a uh, just a look in Luminar Neo. You can see at this top menu, it says presets. I've got a photo selected, so if I've got a photo selected, I can click on the presets menu. There's also a uh, the letter T, if you hit that, is a shortcut that will pop you into the presets menu, at least on a Mac. I'm not sure if it's different on Windows, but I'm in there and you can see I'm now in the presets menu. If you had Luminar AI, this is gonna look very familiar because these are very similar and I haven't compared it, but uh, effectively to me, it looks like it's about the same as the templates that were included in Luminar AI. So you've got that, you've got nice functionality, and of course it has the what they call the for this photo, which is AI-based recommendations based on the content of the photo. So it says easy landscapes because it recognized I've got a landscape. So I'm gonna click on that, and you can see you've got various presets built in here. I can just come in here, click on one, and of course it will apply it to the photo automatically, just like that. Now the nice thing here is of course that I can then go over to the edit tab, and if you look on the edits menu in this upper right hand corner and click on it, you can see it's got all the tools that are included in the preset. So this is what I mean by unlocked or white box. Instead of the one click and that's it, you're stuck, you now have the ability to go in and customize all the tools that are included in this preset, further refine it to your taste, things like that. So this is the preset functionality we've been looking for and waiting for and hoping for. Hats off to the uh, you know the folks at Skyloom. I mean, honestly, the things that they're dealing with and still getting out product updates, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, pretty amazing to be honest. I'm very happy with this. I think you're gonna be happy with it as well. But you can see what's included there. Now I might wanna come in and let's say I go to landscape and I want further uh, enhancement to that golden hour. And you know, again, you gotta click back to the top filter in order to see the impact across the entire photo. But I could also go to tools and add another photo. Maybe I wanna add, re not another photo, another filter. Maybe I wanna add a little bit of Relight AI. Maybe adjust the depth a little bit, slightly brighten that. Actually, you know what, I think I'll, maybe I'll darken the foreground a little bit, create a little bit more of a contrast in the image. And maybe I'll add some split toning and come in here and in the highlights, Maybe I wanna warm that up a little bit further. So I'm gonna do something like that. I'm just kinda of making it up. I don't have a particular plan with this photo. I just wanted to show you that you can do that and now my edits tab shows all of these tools. Here's the best part, I can save my own. So I'm gonna go down to the actions menu in the very bottom, click on that and save as preset. I'm gonna go ahead and click to do that. I'm gonna call this sunset one, just because I can't think of another great name here on the spot. I'm gonna hit enter and it is saved under my presets as sunset one. So if I go over to the preset menu, you can see there's now a my presets category. I click on it and there's sunset one. Now, another thing you may have noticed in this bottom menu is uh, here in actions is that you have revert to original. So I can click that, go back. That's basically an undo function for the preset. So let's say I do that and then I go over to edit and I'm like, you know, there's no edits here because I've reset it. There's nothing used in tools. Um, you know, hey, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I do want that preset. I can go back over here and I can just choose my sunset one because I saved it as my own preset. Click it and it's back applied to my photo. So now I can go back to the catalog. Let's say I have a different photo. I'm gonna hit T once again to get into the presets menu. It defaults to the last menu that you were in in presets, but I could back out, use something else, but I just wanna try that preset again. It is a sunset. This was a sunset. Let's just see how it looks on this photo. And there you go. Looks all right. It's a little bit overdone, but again, that's the point of presets to me. They're a starting point. You apply the preset. It gets you kind of kicked off in a certain direction for your edit. And then you go in and make refinements and if you like those refinements, save it as your own preset, la da da, you know, lather, rinse, repeat. So lots of power, lots of flexibility. And again, I'm mostly just thankful that number one, the Skylum team is safe. Number two, I'm grateful that they're continuing to crank out updates for us. And in this case, I'm loving the fact that we can build our own presets and customize the presets that we apply to our photos. 
giving us just so much more power and control over our final edits here in Luminar Neo. So that concludes my first look at version 1.0.5. There are a couple of other refinements like to the LUTs menu, DCP profiles, uh, as well as a number of bugs that they've kind of squashed. But the big thing for me is right here, the preset menu, the ability to build your own, customize ones that are there, save it, reapply that, all that sort of thing. I will come back with additional videos about presets and building those and customizing those and that sort of thing. But I wanted to share this first look to give you some idea of how it's working, how you can save your own and get you started editing your photos with your own presets or the included presets and customizing those here in Luminar Neo. Hope it helps. If you have questions, leave those down below. Thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be here every week making more Neo videos and I hope they're fun for you. Thanks, my friends. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you really soon. Take care of yourselves and until then, adios.